Coop. This is Modified Nerf Spectre. This is actually a contract confirmation for a client, um, so I'll go over the internal mods and the paint and show you it firing. So, starting with the internal mods for the Spectre, I have replaced the spring with an Orange Modworks 2X Power Spring, so it's actually kind of hard to prime and it shoots crazy hard for a Spectre. I've also removed the air restrictors and the barrel posts. Other than that, minor modifications such as lubricating the rotation mech and the plunger head again, um, and the trigger and pretty much everything, just very minor lubrication in order to get everything to function very smoothly. And that's actually all of the internal modifications of rather minimal um, internal mods, but there's really not much you can do to a Spectre to make it better because it is rather limited with its plunger tube size. However, this is shooting crazy hard for a Spectre. I have not had the opportunity to range test the blaster, but I'd estimate 40 to 50 feet flat with elite darts, probably further. That's just uh, estimating out of velocity. But I've never seen a Spectre shoot so hard. Uh, granted, I've never replaced the spring on one until now. Um, I've modified some in the past, but never really extensively. This is rather um, minor modifications, but I'm very happy with how it turned out. Going over the externals, um, including the paint. This is actually a Lightning Storm stock if you're unfamiliar with it. Um, this is actually from a water gun. It's still Hasbro made, but it's from a water gun. It's still compatible with the Instrike stock attachment point. I have actually modified it slightly by taking out the very small lightning bolt. Um, that was a request from the client, but that remains detachable, um, just like in stock form. Up front is a long strike barrel attachment. Um, this is also detachable, um, but this just to make it look really, really cool. Um, no modifications to this actually, um, just painted. And up here is a Nitron scope. This is from the Vortex Nitron. Um, pretty cool looking sight. Going over the paint, starting with the base coat, which was a black vinyl dye base coat. After the dye, I did Citadel Temple Guard Blue or something like that. I will post that item number in the description box below and where you can buy it. It's a Games Workshop paint. Um, I'm very happy with the teal color. The client actually sent me a picture of somebody else's modified gun and asked me to duplicate the colors, um, which is sort of difficult because I don't know what type of paint the guy used. Um, but it's pretty close. It might be a little lighter. Um, but I'm still very happy with how the paint turned out. I think it looks really cool. And the orange accents I've added are Troll Slayer Orange. I'm not even kidding. That's a really funny use, um, name, and I like it quite a lot. But um, that's also by Citadel and available on their website. I'm not an affiliate. I'm just trying to help you out if you're trying to find um, colors you like. I'm still very happy with how the blaster turned out. Very fun to operate. I haven't used a Spectre in a while, so it's sort of refreshing to mod that. And I very much like this paint scheme. I might actually be borrowing black with teal like this in the future. Um, I, I liked it that much. So now I'll show you the blaster firing. Again, I have not had an opportunity to range test the blaster, but I'd estimate, just roughly estimate, 40 to 50 feet flat. Um, I'm getting a decent air seal and the power is ridiculous. Um, but the limited plunger tube size kind of limits the range. So that concludes the modified Spectre video. This video is a confirmation video for a contract, so my client, you know who you are, please send me an email to confirm this is everything you wanted. If anything needs to be changed to fit the original agreement, please let me know and I will do that. Um, otherwise, I can have the blaster shipped out within a few days. Um, but that's the end of the Spectre video. Hopefully you enjoyed it.